Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Tonight we're showing the work of writer, director, producer Robert Rawson, whose career was in high gear in the early 50s when suddenly he was blacklisted in Hollywood, all because of a flirtation he'd had with communism years earlier. Well, he did eventually get his career back in high gear, adding such impressive films to his credit sheet as The Hustler, which we showed earlier tonight, which earned him three Oscar nominations for Best Director, for Best Adapted Screenplay, and for producing the year's Best Picture. Right now, though, we have the movie that earned Robert Ross his first attention from the Motion Picture Academy. It's also a film which was released just prior to his run-in with the House Un-American Activities Committee, which did short-lived damage to Rawson, but long-run chaos to so many others. The movie is All the King's Men, released by Columbia Pictures and the winner of the Oscar for Best Picture of 1949, and won Oscars for Broderick Crawford as Best Actor and for Mercedes McCambridge in her film debut for Best Supporting Actress. Rawson was nominated for his direction and screenplay, but didn't win in either category. But as the producer of the film, he did take home that Best Picture Oscar. Now, All the King's Men is a powerful film, loosely based on the life of former Louisiana Governor Huey Long. Oh, in the movie, he's called Willie Stark. It follows the life of a small-time backwater politician who quickly rises through the political ranks by connecting with the little people of the state, doing so by fighting poverty, improving schools, and greenlighting public works projects. But as it turns out, Willie is as corrupt and power mad as all those other politicians he claims to be opposing. The cast of the movie includes John Ireland, John Derrick, Joanne Drew, and Shepard Strudwick. The film was actually remade in 2006 with Sean Penn, a version even a Sean Penn fan as I am has to admit can't hold a candle to this original one. Here from 1949, Robert Rawson's All the King's Men. Thank you.